You know sometimes when you watch a movie and you come out of it just feeling really dirty? Yeah. So Revenge is the feature directorial debut of Coralie Fargette, and I think I pronounced that correctly, and this movie focuses around a character named Jennifer, who is played by Matilda Lutz, who goes to stay with her very wealthy boyfriend. However, unbeknownst to her, it's actually the boys' hunting weekend, and he is invited around his two other friends as well. And they commit an act upon Jennifer and then leave her for dead. However, what they don't know is that they've messed with the wrong woman. Now, I've heard about this movie for a little while now. I saw it, you know, I saw a few, few reviews when this movie came out. It's been through a few of the festivals around the world, and I've had my eye on this movie for a long time, and it's just, I knew it was never going to come out around here because it never does. This is the type of movie that would just not really make any waves in the quieter areas that I live in here in the UK. I knew this movie was not going to touch me in any way possible. So, luckily, when I came across this movie on Blu-ray, which I was very surprised about, I was very surprised this movie actually got a Blu-ray release here in the UK, but anyway, luckily it did. I finally sat down, I watched this movie, and it might be one of my favourites of the year. First off, Matilda Lutz is outstanding in this movie. She blew me away. I think that she is a very real actress. You know, she came across at first to be very almost generic and almost, you know, typical cheap horror actress, if you know what I mean by that. But I believe that was very much intentional given the character arc that she goes through in this film because by the end, she was badass. Like, this is one badass character. And by the end, she becomes like this Mad Max version. You know, she's like a female Mad Max. And I was like, this is insane. And she was really making that turn believable. Like, this turn into how she became this true survival character and how she became this true brutal killer by the end. It was really believable, and I thought it, she did a great job handling it. I can't wait to see what she does in the future. Um, whether we'll actually see her make waves in, you know, kind of the more domestic films, we'll have to wait and see, because this is a French movie. So you have to kind of wait and see how she'll do in terms of, you know, worldwide audiences. But I think she was an excellent addition to this film and a fantastic lead. Also, this movie is so vibrant and colourful. Like, there are so many beautiful looking shots in this film. The cinematography is unparalleled. And I think there's some really amazing shots here. And again, it's just so bright and it's so colourful. It's vibrant. And, you know, given that this movie primarily takes place in a desert, that's quite surprising. You know, a desert is obviously associated with very dry, very drab colours. But this movie, you know, with its colour grading and with its... Uh, with its filters that it has on top of it, this movie does a really fantastic job of making this quite boring and dull landscape really interesting for your eyes to look at. And I think it was outstanding. And again, you know, I compared the main character of this movie to be like a female Mad Max. Similarly to Mad Max Fury Road, you know, Mad Max Fury Road, that film, again, mostly takes place in the desert, as most Mad Max films do, but that film was very, you know, very colourful, very vibrant, and this movie takes the same route. Also, one word that I would associate with this film is sensual. This film is very sensual, because this film is able to make you feel a lot. This movie doesn't have that many characters, I believe there's only five characters in the movie overall, and there's not too much dialogue either. So the movie does a lot to actually make your body feel things in a very sensual way. And I feel like in terms of the violence in particular, this movie is very brutal, very gory. You know, this movie is not for the squeamish or the timid. This movie is very violent. But again, the movie really makes you feel it in your body. Like there are so many shots that make you go, Ugh, or, you know, kind of make you cringe or curl your toes and things like that. This movie does a really good job of making you feel those impactful moments. And again, I think if I had to choose one word to describe this movie, it's a sensual experience. And the score in this movie is outstanding as well. Very, almost sounds very futuristic, kind of similar in a way to a lot of other, you know, futuristic sci-fi movies, but a way, in a way that really works. Like, it's intense, it's visceral, it's rigorous, it's unforgiving. And again, that theme very much matches up with this movie. And I think the score does a really good job, especially at the end of the movie when it ends. There's a really awesome shot at the end, like the final shot of the movie, and it leads into the credits with an amazing score soundtrack. I just think the score really does a lot to boost this movie. And again, kind of like how the color grading really does a lot to boost the landscape and make it a lot more interesting, the score obviously makes it a lot more interesting to listen to. Overall, I loved Revenge. I wasn't even going to review this movie, because like I said, I don't tend to review movies that I get on Blu-ray, but like I said, this is maybe one of my favourite movies of the year. You may very well see this on my top 10 at the end of the year, and I just thought it was absolutely outstanding, and I really wanted to talk about it. This movie is really good. Seek it out, try and watch it, because it's a really good movie. I mean, obviously, like I say, it's very violent, but I think the style of it is so unique and so different that it's really going to capture your eye, especially if you're a really big fan of like, indie filmmaking, you're really going to appreciate what this movie brings to the table. And Matilda Lutz, who I really think could be a star in the making here, I think she's absolutely fantastic in this film, and I loved pretty much every element of this film.
So have you guys seen Revenge? If you did, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation about Revenge in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. I hope to see you guys again in my next video.